Hey there everyone, it's Michael Dougal. I review nootropics and during this video we're going to talk about the modafinil side effects. Modafinil is a nootropic that I've been using for over five years and it is tremendous as far as affecting your overall work ethic, your ability to multitask. You really just feel switched on and you have this level of ambition which is unparalleled. Fortunately, I'm one of the users of modafinil that really feels an effect with a small dose. So 100 milligrams of modafinil is more than enough for me. This is what 100 milligrams of modafinil looks like. During this video, we're gonna talk about the most common side effects and I'm gonna give you a few solutions as far as what you can do to eliminate or mitigate the effects. I think what makes modafinil unique specifically is its effect on your motivation. You feel so ambitious that you will like neglect anything outside of work. And even though modafinil users realize that modafinil has side effects and it can actually hurt your performance, people still do use modafinil because if you work like 12 hours a day instead of eight hours a day, in the grand scheme of things, you're going to get much more done. And that's what's been the case for me. Modafinil has definitely helped me get a whole lot of work done. And the number one side effect over everything is the modafinil headaches, which are absolutely awful. And this headache is a beast. It's not a normal headache because it can start from like the middle of your forehead and like make its way back to the back of your head. So the solution with 90% of headaches is drink more water and the headache will subside. That does not happen though with modafinil. So what I have found uh, very useful specifically for handling headaches is taking more choline. So choline is a particular nutrient that's found in egg yolks, which is kind of like energy for the brain. The way that I prefer taking it is in a form called alpha GPC. So the way in which I'm taking alpha GPC is 200 milligrams three times per day. This is from Nootropics Depot. Alpha GPC can be pretty strong for some people. With some people, it actually may worsen their mood if they take too much of it. So you need to find your sweet spot with the supplement. And since I've started implementing alpha GPC to my daily supplement routine, I no longer get those metaphors headaches and I feel more energetic and at the end of the day I feel way more sharper than I would have if I had not taken the alpha GPC. If you don't respond that well to alpha GPC then I would recommend another form of choline like the second best form is CDP choline and then the third best form is choline by tartrate. Some of the other side effects are quite similar to the side effects you would get from like um, ADHD prescriptions specifically Adderall um, Concerta or Vyvanse. And some examples of that are things like insomnia, um, having a suppressed appetite. You also can at times feel like an excessive heart rate. So because I have experience with um, prescriptions for ADHD, I would definitely recommend like don't think that modafinil can replace them because the side effects are very similar. Even when I was on Concerta for a long time, I had noticed that when I was taking Concerta, at the end of the day, I would feel very irritable. And with modafinil, you get something which is uh, pretty similar. And like you feel switched on, but you are irritable and you do not want to talk to anyone. But there is one side effect um, specifically that stands out from the other ADHD meds, and that is the level of anxiety you get with modafinil. Uh, take a look at this chart here where they surveyed over 400 people. You can see that modafinil along with the other phenols actually increased anxiety. So it's real interesting because modafinil does improve your mood and that will make you more likely to go and start a conversation with someone. But then when you're actually talking to them, it's very difficult to connect. It can happen if you are trained and if you've used modafinil for a long time. I, for example, sell homes. So I'm in a a particular industry which is just talking, just interactions on the phone and in person. And I had found that the first year when I took monafinil, it was very difficult to have conversations. But after a while, you get a bit used to it with the help of other nootropics and pretty much just like uh, getting feedback from particular situations, you'll become better because with monafinil, you don't really show any empathy. Uh, when somebody's talking, it's like you can't wait until they finish the sentence, for example. So it's a nootropic, which is great for work when you're kind of by yourself, like maybe behind the computer. If you use other nootropics while taking midafinil, provided that you're, uh, of course, using common sense and you're a little bit safe about it, then what's so is you can have a good midafinil experience when you're not getting the anxiety, you have the high work ethic, you have a great mood, and when you talk to people, you're more likely to connect and establish a good level of rapport. Um, a couple good examples of that are um, ashwagandha. Another great one is L-theanine. Um, of the two, I like L-theanine more than ashwagandha for those times when I'm taking midafinil because with ashwagandha, for most people, they need to take it for a couple of weeks in order for them to feel the effects as far as um, its brilliant benefits with stress and levels of anxiety, but not with L-theanine. With L-theanine, trust that when you take like 
200 milligrams of L-theanine, you should feel more relaxed. You should feel um, a diminished level of social anxiety for a good two hours or so. And something absolutely super about L-theanine is you don't only need to take it when you're taking modafinil, but this is a great nootropic to use when you're overstimulated. So if you've ingested too much coffee, then trust that when you take L-theanine, it can help to relieve some of the anxiety, even eliminate the crash and make you feel somewhat jitter-free. This is the particular form of L-theanine that I like most. It's from Nootropics Depot. Each capsule is 200 milligrams. And the way that I'm taking L-theanine on those days when I use modafinil is once at two o'clock PM and then again at six o'clock PM. Of course, uh, you can adjust it depending on your workday. Maybe if you're a morning person, you can have it a little bit earlier or if you're a night owl, then you can have it a little bit later. So the key with this nootropic is really just to take it when you need it. For some people, if you don't get the anxiety from modafinil, then maybe you're better off without L-theanine because like I mentioned, it can be somewhat relaxing. As far as sleep is concerned, with modafinil, unfortunately, it will keep you up a little bit later. Uh, not only will you feel stimulated and on, you will just not want to sleep in the first place. And it's personally been my experience that although there are some times when, yes, I'm able to fall asleep while taking modafinil, uh, my sleep is nowhere near as deep as it would have been if I hadn't had taken modafinil. Um, if you, for example, need to wake up the next day earlier, then something like melatonin really can't hurt. I have found that pretty effective in putting me to sleep and making sure that I wake up on time. Otherwise, note that modafinil is very, very addicting, and that's probably because it's such a good mood enhancer. It's really strong. It will like convince you that um, activities you hate are suddenly enjoyable. But I can see this being a good thing. Like, I mean, for students, of course, it's always good to like fake an interest in whatever material you're studying. And modafinil will definitely make you more interested. It'll enhance your mood and it will convince you that the material that you're learning is definitely worthwhile. And so I would be very disciplined about the way in which I'm approaching modafinil. Of course, uh, take the direction of your general practitioner. If you have committed to taking a week off modafinil, then be sure to take that week off because trust that it will be worth it. Uh, not because modafinil builds a tolerance or has withdrawals, but it's because you kind of forget who you are when you're taking modafinil. You just become this workhorse. You don't have insights. You don't daydream. You don't get bored. You're just so switched on. And besides the few nootropics that I had mentioned in this video, some other great things you can do to ensure you have a good overall modafinil experience and eliminate the side effects is be sure to consume water-rich foods like lettuce being one of them. Just have a good salad without any salad dressing or any top things. Have that once during the middle of the day. Um, even if you're somebody that intermittent fasts, I highly recommend that you do that. And something else you can do is be sure to consume um, electrolytes. So take some sea salt, take some potassium. I really like a Gatorade Zero or some sort of like sports drink that is calorie free because I practice intermittent fasting as well. With respect to the headaches that you get from modafinil, it's real strange. Honestly, I'm still trying to figure out modafinil after being on it for over five years because with modafinil, it's very inconsistent. Some days you'll get headaches, some days you won't have headaches, some days you'll have awful headaches and you really just have to find out what works best for you. For me personally, I have noticed that for whatever reason, modafinil seems to work better for me on days when I work out. So I'm ensuring that I take my modafinil pre-workout, I'll go hit a light workout if anything, nothing too strenuous, and then I have a great overall day, and I'm a little bit less likely to have the headaches, provided that I take breaks, I drink a lot of water, and of course I consume choline. And do consider subscribing if you got value from this video. On this channel, I talk nootropics and I talk biohacking and I'm releasing video at least once a week. And be sure to uh, join our chat room over on Discord where we've got a great community and we're adding a lot of value. Thank you again so much for your interest in nootropics and I will look forward to seeing you all next time.